trigonometric ratios introducing sine, cosine, and tangent. We're at 8.2a with one previous video for Chapter 8 in the Geometry Playlist if you need it. By the AA similarity postulate, that's angle-angle similarity, a right triangle with a given acute angle is similar to every other right triangle with the same acute angle measure. Here we have three right triangles and they all have a 40 degree acute angle. They also all have a right angle, don't they? Because they have a right angle in common and an acute angle in common, that's angle-angle similarity. They're all similar to each other. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF is similar to triangle XYZ. And this leg BC over this hypotenuse AC is equal to this leg EF over this hypotenuse DF, which is equal to this leg YZ over this hypotenuse XZ. These are trigonometric ratios. A trigonometric ratio is the ratio of two sides of a right triangle. Okay, so we're only dealing with right triangles. So here I have a big table of some of the trigonometric ratios, and just to introduce them real quick, we have sine, cosine, and tangent. All right? So the sine of an angle is the ratio of the length of the leg opposite the angle. So if we have angle A, the leg opposite it would be this one to the length of the hypotenuse. So we have the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. And that would be the sine of A. We're talking about angle A. And the sine of B, so we're talking about angle B, would be the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is the ratio of the length of the leg adjacent, that's next to the angle. So the cosine of A, here's angle A, the leg next to it is this one. So it's the ratio of this leg over the hypotenuse. And the cosine of B, so now we're talking about angle B, would be the ratio of the leg next to it, the adjacent one, over the hypotenuse. The tangent of an angle is the ratio of the length of the leg opposite the angle. So the tangent of A, we're talking about angle A, so the tangent of it would be this opposite leg over the adjacent leg, the one next to it. And the tangent of B, would be, here's B, so the leg opposite it would be this one, and it would be over this one. See? It's the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So opposite legs, the leg opposite of angle A here is this BC. An opposite leg does not touch that angle. It's on the opposite side of the triangle. And the leg opposite of this angle B would be this leg, and opposite of C, well, that's the hypotenuse, and that's not a leg. For adjacent legs, the leg adjacent to angle A is this leg right here. It's AC. An adjacent leg does touch the angle. It's next to it. And the leg adjacent to angle B would be this leg right here. Okay? In trigonometry, the letter of the vertex of the angle is often used to represent the measure of that angle. So the sine of angle A is sine A. See? Right up here. So the sine of A would be the sine of this angle A. And the sine of angle B would be the sine of angle B, sine B. And the word tangent means in contact or touching from the Latin tangentum, to touch. In geometry, it's got two meanings. It means touching a curve or surface at one point but not intersecting. So here's a line tangent to a circle. It's touching it but it's not intersecting it. Or it means the ratio of the side of the length opposite an acute angle in a right triangle to the length of the leg next to the angle. So the tangent of angle A would be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, okay? Trigonometry is the study of angles and triangles. We use segments, rays, and lines to form angles. Each triangle has six parts, three sides, and three angles. And if we measure the sides and make pairs, we'll have three different pairings. If we do division problems with the pairings, changing the order of each, we'll have six different answers. And these six different answers represent the six trigonometric functions. 
So we have a triangle, a right triangle here with side three, four, and five. So hopefully you'll be able to follow along with what we're talking about. If we put side three over side four, leg three over leg four, that would be the tangent of A. It would also be the cotangent of B. Now the ones in red and green are the ones we're going to talk about in this chapter. The ones in black, well, those of you in honors geometry are going to be talking about those, okay? If we put this leg four over this leg three, then we'll have the tangent of B that's also the cotangent of B. If we do this leg three over the hypotenuse five, that's going to be the sine of A, and it's also the cosine of B. If we put this hypotenuse over this leg three, that's the cosecant of A. If we put this leg four over the hypotenuse, that's going to be the sine of B and the cosine of A. If we put the hypotenuse over this leg, that's going to be the secant. And these are the abbreviations we use. For sine, we write S-I-N. For cosine, we write C-O-S. For tangent, it's T-A-N. For cotangent, it's C-O-T. For secant, it's S-E-C. And for cosecant, it's C-S-C. Now, I know we're in geometry. We're not in trigonometry. But I'd like to plant a little seed so that when you do take trigonometry, you'll say, oh, I kind of remember that. So in trigonometry, angle measures are commonly referred to as Greek letters. That's the angle measures. So you'll have alpha, beta, gamma, theta. So you might actually see, instead of angle B, you'll see angle theta, okay? Our next lesson is 8.2B, another part of this lesson. So it's part two. We'll be finding and calculating these trig ratios on our own with pencil and paper, and we'll even do it with a calculator, okay? Then we're gonna do trigonometric ratios and complementary angles. Then we're going to finish with inverse functions. Now, if you don't have a scientific calculator, you can turn your cell phone calculator sideways and you'll see the cosine, sine, and tangent buttons, okay? I hope you understood this. Now you know a little bit about trigonometric ratios, and now you know what sine, cosine, and tangent are, all right? So I hope you're doing well. Keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.